Well, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid saying at a campaign event this week, quote, I don't know how anyone of Hispanic heritage could be Republican, all right? Do I need to say more? Well, my next guest calls that remark a profound insult and says, yes, indeed, the senator does need to say more, needs to explain himself. Dr. Manny Alvarez is our senior managing uh, health editor, and he's an American of Hispanic descent. You are none too happy too with happy. the Senate Majority Leader. No, absolutely not. I'm very insulted, and I think that the, the, that the senator owes an apology to a lot of Hispanics in this country. I never wanted to talk about politics. As a physician, you know, I keep my personal views to myself. Yeah, you I don't do, go there. I don't go there. But yesterday I had to go there because basically with this he's saying, you know, he's boxing me in. He's, he's assuming because I'm a Latino, I'm a Hispanic descent, I live in this country, that therefore I have to become a Democrat. I had to adhere to all their policies. And look, uh, I come from a very conservative family. My father was an immigrant from Cuba. He came to this country. He was always a Republican. This was a man that built his home uh, on his hard work. He never asked anything from the government. And he had basic values, family, education, you know, the constitution of this country. That's how I was raised. That's how many Latinos have been raised in this country. They have not been raised to be kind of ushered into one mindset. You know, I left Fidel Castro many years ago. I left Chavez, my friends in Florida who come from Venezuela who now have settled in this country, I left Chavez a long time ago. And I feel like I'm getting back to those. I hear the sounds. The sounds are the same. The sounds is that you have to conform in one way of thinking. Don't listen to anybody else. And, you know, that is not the American way, and that's why I had to speak out. And let me tell you, the response was overwhelming. A lot of comments uh, on, on the blog that I wrote. Yeah, because on FoxNews.com. And, and you actually, I thought, was interesting because you interpreted those remarks as a Hispanic American as Harry Reid calling you stupid. Stupid? How Uneducated? So? How, how is that well, look, him calling when, you when stupid? If I were to say to my wife or my children, you know, you're not smart enough to make that choice. If I said that to my wife, you know what would happen? Uh, I'm insulting her. And that's exactly what he said to me. I cannot believe, Dr. Manny, that you are a Republican. I guess, that, that do I need to say any more? So he's implying that either I'm mental, mentally challenged, I'm stupid, I'm uneducated, uh, I have been brainwashed, and in reality, what the only thing that I'm doing is I'm, I'm sort of standing up for my constitutional rights, and I'm making an informed consent, and I'm very familiar with informed consent. <laughs> he later came out and tried to soften it a little by saying, what I really meant was, I can't believe how anyone could be a Republican. And then the reporter said, well, then why did you mention Hispanics? Well, and he I, said, well, that was the audience I was in front of. Well, exactly. He was, he was trying to speak to Latinos in his state, and he's basically saying, look, uh, you know, you're really stupid if you're a Republican, so but stick with me. I'm going to give you the best deal possible. And he fails to understand that there's a lot of conservative uh, Latinos out there, people that, if you, you know, th that are interested in, in border control well, and, 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 and things like that. And I want to ask you about that, because that's another point you make in, in your blog post, which is you say... There's been so much talk lately about whether people in Arizona in particular uh, are going, you know, a neighbor to his state out in Nevada, are going to be eth uh, racially profiled, right. ethnically profiled. And you say that is how you feel in response to that comment. Uh, absolutely. It's not a feel. It's what he said to me. That's exactly what he said to every Latino. You people, you people of Latino descent, my God, don't join any other party, please. You must be mentally challenged. He's profiling me. And that's why, you know, I went out of my way and I went home last night and I told my wife I wrote this thing uh, because I was so angry and to, you know, almost to the point of tears because this affects me. You know, I have children. Uh, they were born in this country, but they have, a, they have Spanish name. I have an autistic son. I want those children to have the free choice to make and decide what they want to do with their political ideology when they get older. Do you, feel like, do you feel like the message is from the Senate Majority Leader that if they choose to vote Republican or be Republicans, that they're somehow abandoning their Hispanic heritage, that it's a betrayal. Uh, that's right, and you're betraying every other Hispanic, and therefore, you know, you're joining a party that really is going to harm you, and that is really not the I mean, case. Really, I think it relates to the immigration debate, right? Because that's, that, that's the hot issue out there, and, right. and uh, his son is running for governor against a Hispanic uh, former judge right. uh, out there. And, and I think, you know, the big, the big issue has been immigration and comprehensive immigration reform, which he claims he's a proponent of, and he blames the failure of it right. on the Rep Republican Party. On that issue, does he have a point that Hispanics uh, should favor the Democratic Party instead of the Republican Party? Because he, the he, Democrats have been pushing for comprehensive reform. He doesn't have a point. Absolutely he doesn't have a point. Look, if you ask an illegal Hispanic immigrant whether he, you know, what, if a party gave you a better deal in staying 
remain in this country, would you choose them? He'll say absolutely. He'll she'll say absolutely. But if you ask a lot of Latinos that came to this country the, the normal way through proper uh, immigration uh, uh, laws, protecting everything, checking with everything, uh, everybody will tell you what they want is uh, they want regulation. You know, every, uh, there's many polls that have been done that said the Latinos, over 60 percent of Latinos are interested in border security. They are uh, interested in, in proper legal immigration. And that's what they want. They want this. This is their this is our country and we want our country to be safe, regulated and follow the rules of the law. All right, Dr. Manny. And we have got Dr. Manny's blog post uh, and all of his other blog posts posted for you. If you want to check it out uh, on Senator Reid or anything else, you can go to foxnews.com slash health. And you can also leave your own comments there and see what others are saying about this story. Dr. Manny, so interesting. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Well, a